then and distribute this, right? So get two root three x, and then negative two divided by three multiplied by negative three is plus two minus three. I'll go ahead and show that step. Okay. Just to make sure everyone's clear on that. So but you can also use a calculator. Don't forget that. Plus two. Use a calculator for this, but so negative two divided by three multiplied by x is negative two divided by three x, and then I have negative two over three multiplied by this negative three and then minus three. And so you can do this in the calculator. But for this we know that and we know that this negative three is understood to be divided by negative three, right? So or no I'm sorry, divided by one. Left out the negative two. So we have there are two sort of voices. I know that you can cancel out uh, these threes or you can multiply it out and get that would get you six divided by three, which what is six divided by three? Two. two. So plus two minus three. Now, how can we is there, how can we further simplify that? What's two minus three? Negative one. Negative one. Okay, so now we have that. Now, what form is this in right here? Oh, uh, slope intercept. Slope intercept. So then, what is our y intercept? Um, oh, if we have y equals mx uh -huh. plus b, we know that b is the line intercept. Yeah. So what's our line intercept? One. With negative one. And then it's a point, right? So zero, negative one. Told you. Okay. Now what's your slope? Negative two divided by three. Negative two divided by three, and negative two is your rise. Negative one. And what is your, your three? Run. Good. Okay, so from, our, from this point, where should we go? What's our what's our rise? Uh, our rise is three. No, our rise is two. Two. Now, am I going up two or down two? Down, down two. One, and then so one, right, right to three. One, two. Okay, and then we can also go the opposite way, so up two and left three, to make that line. Okay, now will this will this boundary line be solid or dashed? Solid. Solid? Who agrees? I want the point on Do you think this line will be solid? Who else agrees with that? You agree? Anyone think it will be dashed? RJ, you think it will be dashed? Or why? why, why do, okay, why do we think it would be solid? Or why do we think it would be dashed? Can be easy. Say it can or cannot be equal to? Can't. It can't be equal to, right? So if it can't be equal to, then can will the line be solid? Mm. No, because the, the solutions won't be on that line. So it'd be dashed. Now, where would we shade the solutions? What do you think? It'd be, so let's say it's less than. It's less than, so what does that mean for where we should shake? Down. Down or below the boundary below. line. Now, this is also, so one group distributed, but one thing I do want to note is what form is this original inequality in? Point slope. Point slope. So if we wanted to look at it instead of distributing, which both ways work perfectly fine, but for point slope, what point does this give us? Um, we're looking at the original inequality. Same. So we're looking at this inequality right here, and you told me it was in point slope. What What is the point we can get from this oh. inequality? Oh. Zero, three. Three, zero. So for the, um, remember, point slope is y equals m times x minus x1 plus y1. And our point is going to be x1, y1, right? And slope is m. So what, from this, what would our, what would our point be?
3 and 1. You said 3 and 1? Where did you get the 1? On the 1 and the um, 1. So that 1 is just a uh, subscript. So that just tells you that this is the just that particular x and that particular y. So it could be t Wait. 2 or 3. Wait, zero. Oh. So let's just let's think for a second. I want you to look at x minus x1 plus y1. That, that's the generic formula in a generic equation. Now we have this x minus 3 minus 3. What does that tell us the point will be for this point slope? Do you want your weight back there? No, I'm just going to... Yo, we got to get going. Yeah, if you want to learn math, we got to engage and talk and ask questions. And I know I had some conversations about this. I know someone knows this. I just want to make sure we understand this before we move on, that we can find a point and a slope from the You said, what, what was the question? Yeah. The new equation is y equals m, and then in parentheses x minus x1, and mm -hmm. it's the slope. Hey, good Chris. Fellowship of Christian no, students will meet in room 218 Thursday morning yeah. so, at 7 40. We meet for the time of a decent fellowship and a word of encouragement. Yeah. All are welcome. January Free Book Month is exactly. now available in the library. If you're interested in receiving your free, free copy yeah, of 12 by Cecilia A. Horn, be sure to stop by the library and see Mr. Two Hay two or Ms. Fire. Copies are limited and available one copy per student. School for Chanel will be Monday, February 1st in the theater. Do we agree with that? Look for the schedules hanging around the school for this home slot. Yeah. Seniors, show the state scholarship applications is oh, open. The deadline is March 1st. Thank you and have a great day. So, you tell me now the slope is negative 2 divided by 3. So where do we get this point of negative 2 and 3? So... This point should be, the, I just want to make sure we get one thing in before we go. This point is 3 and negative 3, guys. So this x1, this minus x1, this x1 is that 3 right there. And that y1 is this minus 3. I want to make sure we understand that when we look at this, we, everyone, could, everyone told me this was point slope right off the gate. And so this right here is this m, this negative 2 divided by 3. Okay, so then this minus x1 and this positive 3 right there. Same with the y. I have to make sure that we saw that before we move on. I know we ran a little long on that. Um, uh, so, I would say we don't have time to do the graph. You'll have to do that tomorrow. Go look at number 2 with them really quickly. So let's look at number 2. So, we don't have time to do the entire thing, but let's, let's look at what we just talked about. What form... Sorry, not number two, number three. Okay. I mean, didn't. Sorry. So let's look at number three. What is the boundary line we're looking at here? What? Negative two. Y equals negative two. Good. Okay, how would we graph that boundary line? Negative two. Negative two where? On the y. On the y axis. Now, where is this line going? If it's y equals negative two, where is what line would make that true? Horizontal. Horizontal. Good. Remember, and every point needs to have what y value? Negative two. Okay, so that's how we define that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm saying that just because we're going to be in a yeah. second. Guys, our homework tonight is to do number two through five. Two through five. Justify the boundary line. Justify where where you are shading. You have Desmos, you have Symbolab, you have Khan Academy. Justify your boundary line. Is that clear? Okay. Oh, you need to take a picture. It's time to go home. Sleep. <laughs>
it took a little while to get that. Well, I knew it was I was like, I looked at it and I was like, oh crap. Hey, can you stop the recording a little bit? Yeah. I just didn't want to forgo that. I didn't know oh, you Because that was a little concerning. Yeah. I mean, yeah.